What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Neo, back again with another juicy guide. This one's going to give you the knowledge and tools to make the push into Master Rank in Pokemon Unite. As always, I appreciate all your support. And if you haven't, smash those buttons, like, subscribe, notification bell. Let's get right into it. First off, to give you some background, I've been playing Pokemon Unite non-stop since release i've been master since day four and fluctuate between the top 100 and top 400 in the world so i kind of have an idea of what you need to do to win i'll not be doing a tier list or anything in this video as patches change the tier list anyways uh just like today they dropped a patch and things have changed so the purpose of this video will be to give you knowledge of the game and some intermediate knowledge and mechanics that can change some of those losses on your games to wins. Let's start with stats. Most people do not realize the way stats work in Pokemon. There are two different types of Pokemon in Unite, attackers and special attackers. These Pokemon scale with specific stats, so it's important to know what your Pokemon is before itemizing them. Attackers are Charizard, Snorlax, Crustle, Greninja, Talonflame, Lucario, Absol, Machamp, Garchomp, Cinderace, and Zerora. Special attackers are Pikachu, Eldegoss, Venusaur, Mr. Mime, Slowbro, Wigglytuff, Alolan Ninetales, Cramorant, Gengar, Gardevoir. There are exceptions to the rule, but that is for the guides to those specific Pokemon at a later date that I'll make. For now, that's where everyone resides. Also, important note, Blissey was just added. She is also an exception to the rule, so we won't throw her in one of those categories. Next, let's talk about items. Uh, most people look at this game to, as pay to win, which in a sense it is, but if you know what you're doing, what's good and what you are good at, it doesn't have to be. You get enough currency to make three items level 20 relatively quickly in the leveling process so for items only push them to level 20 the difference between level 30 items and level 20 items is not that significant and you are better off getting other items to 20 first for a wider range of pokemon builds in my opinion the best items in the game are as follows in no particular order buddy barrier muscle band Focus Band, Score Shield, Scope Lens, and Wise Glasses. Buddy Barrier is particularly strong right now, even after this most recent patch. It's useful on every character. Muscle Band is for attack stat users. Wise Glasses are for special attack users. Focus Band and Score Shield are good on any off tank slash tank character like Snorlax, Lucario, all of them. Scope Lens is for crit artists like Greninja or Cinderace. You can also maybe sneak that into a Lucario build, but I don't recommend that over, say, Muscle Band, Focus Band, Buddy Barrier on Lucario. Alright, now we're gonna get into priorities, mechanics, and the biggest mistake people make in-game. A lot of low-ranked players look at each match as a team deathmatch and not as a true MOBA. Your main focus throughout the game, up till Zapdos spawns, should be gaining XP. Getting kills is nice, but XP is the focus. Whenever you are not defending or attacking an objective or goal, you should be clearing all wild Pokemon for extra XP. If you are not level 13 by the time Zapdos spawns, you probably didn't farm well this game, and the chances of you losing are higher as you won't deal as much damage when the Zapdos struggle begins. As for objectives, Dreadnought is the most important objective in the game outside of Zapdos. It spawns at 7 minutes into the game, and as I said before, XP is the main priority, which is why Dreadnought is important because it grants a huge chunk of XP to your entire team, as well as a shield, which uh, goes well with score shield. At around 7 minutes and 30 seconds, or 7 minutes to... In 45 seconds, you should be rotating to bot lane if you're top lane to secure the Dreadnought. A lot of people, even in Master, sit top and essentially AFK farm, leaving their team to 4v5 at Dreadnought. It is not a good idea. At the time, it may seem good to get free goals, but late game, you will feel the lack of Dreadnoughts if you let the enemy team claim all of them. 
Always show up for Dreadnought. Don't be that guy. At two minutes remaining, Zapdos spawns and all scoring is worth double. Most people think that you must claim Zap at this point to win. That is not the case. If you already have a score lead or are not behind by much, the safer bet is to score a medium to high score goal and defend Zap. If you start Zap, the enemy can steal it and you essentially let them have a chance to win. If you refuse to damage Zap and instead defend the central area, the enemy is forced to kill your team before they can even start Zap and you still have a chance to steal it. This makes it much harder for the enemy team to come back. Never damage Zap if you have a lead unless there's a 0% chance the enemy can make it there to steal in time. The final bit of information I will leave here is a more advanced tip. Don't break the first goal in solo queue if you can help it. When you do, all the wild Pokemon spawns on the enemy side as well as extra Pokemon spawns are created on the enemy side. This grants the enemy team a huge XP advantage unless you have a split pusher like Lucario who can farm that side of the map. On top of that, if their first tier goal in top lane is still active after you reach zap spawn, it is very easy to sneak in a 100 score goal in top lane as everyone is usually focused on Zapdos. And there you have it, short and sweet tips to help you win more games and reach Master in Season 1. If you liked this video and want to see a more advanced guide, let me know in the comments. I will also be doing guides periodically on every Pokemon, so if there's someone you want me to do first, let me know down there as well. As always, you can catch me throughout the week on my Twitch channel. I stream Monday through Friday. I'll leave a link below. Hope to see you there. Hope to see you next video. Later!